I will tell you a story about chronic fatigue disease. Imagine a small village near Lake Tahoe in Nevada. And in this village, more than 200 people feel sick. They feel weak and const constant tiredness and painful limp nodes and sore throat and headaches and their condition will not improve over time and physicians were not unable to identify what was cause of this disease and it was first attempt to describe chronic fatigue syndrome such as mass hysteria of this village. Nowadays in modern medicine we have criteria and we can say when there is chronic fatigue syndrome if person feels constantly tired more than six, six months, it's important criteria and the symptoms of tiredness should not improve with rest and it should interfere daily life importantly and physician should unable to identify underlying cause, it's important because for example if person has flu and he feels tired it's very natural process or other virus or viral infection or bacterial infection when we have any illness we feel weak it's normal condition and it's explained condition but if person has no identifiable cause and still has chronic fatigue then it is called chronic fatigue syndrome and first and most common cause of chronic fatigue syndrome is post illness period for example many viruses and many bacteria even after recovery period ends people still feel chronic fatigue and it's considered common post illness period for example very classical example is covid-19 after COVID-19, lots of people experience symptoms of chronic fatigue, which last more than one year. And it is called long COVID sometimes, uh, but it's in many cases, it's just manifestation of chronic fatigue syndrome after illness. Other viruses and bacterial infections also can cause post-illness post chronic fatigue syndrome, such as Q-fever, for example, or West Nile fever, or parvovirus, and other viral and bacterial infections. Second most common cause of chronic fatigue syndrome is weak immune system. Even slightest impairment of our immune system can cause chronic fatigue syndrome. Why? Because our immune system is constantly fighting to infections and activation of our immune system causes increased inflammatory cytokines in our body and these inflammatory signals have effect to on the brain and in the brain they cause uh, they cause activation of several areas of brain and our brain perceive it as a chronic fatigue so activation of immune system can increase inflammation in the body and this inflammation increase uh, tiredness sense of tiredness in our brain so weak immune system is important factor also uh, what, what is solution in this case boost immune system and modify immune system is better solution in this case and mental health issues and problems can cause chronic fatigue syndrome such as depression anxiety stress or sleep deprivation they affect for example depression causes decreased serotonin level which is well-being neurotransmitter and when serotonin level is decreased person feels passive person feels tired and weak and lack of energy and also when there is uh, dopamine level low dopamine level because of depression also person feels demotivated because um, uh, dopamine is responsible on motivation and it's reward uh, neurotransmitter and person can have lack of energy and demotivation when person has low dopamine level another example is sleep deprivation for example when person has sleep deprivation that person has elevated cortisol level cortisol is 
inflammatory inflammatory and it, it is uh, called uh, stress hormone cortisol is stress hormone and it causes inflammation in the body inflammation can cause weakness of the body and our brain can perceive it as a chronic fatigue also um, when we have sleep deprivation we have low growth hormone and why we need uh, growth hormone we need it first for growth if person in adolescence but if person is already adult we need growth hormone for repair and regeneration of tissues and when we have low growth hormone our repair system is weak and we feel weak and fatigue First most common cause of chronic fatigue syndrome is altered hormo hormone level and for example we already said about cortisol which is stress hormone if cortisol level is elevated uh, our body is in inflammatory state and inflammation causes weakness and tiredness and decreased growth hormone level especially in older adults is common and it can cause reduce regeneration reduce repair and person has sense of tiredness and chronic tiredness and um, decrease dhea level is dehydroepiandrosterone which is precursor of sex hormones such as testosterone and estrogens and it's important to synthesize these sex hormones and if we have decreased uh, de uh, DHEA then we have uh, chronic fatigue and lack of motivation because lack of testosterone and um, fifth is genetic genetic also important player for chronic fatigue especially if first uh, degree relatives have uh, chronic fatigue then the person also has elevated risk of chronic fatigue for example mother and daughter in this case if mother has chronic fatigue daughter also has increased risk of chronic fatigue and physical and emotional trauma also is important factor or overactivity or over passive uh, lifestyle both can cause chronic fatigue and now let's say uh, about nutritional deficiency which has which is important also for chronic fatigue especially vitamin b because vitamin b is crucial for energy production and vitamin c also important for immune system function and immune system modulation that's why they can cause chronic fatigue syndrome and vitamin d is important because uh, deficiency of vitamin d can cause depression bone pain and weakness and zinc and magnesium and are minerals and trace elements which are very important also they took place more than 300 reactions uh, in the body so they are crucial for our body and a lack of zinc and magnesium also causes uh, chronic fatigue syndrome and essential essential fatty acids deficiency of essential fatty acids also important because uh, for example a lack of omega-3 which which is important uh, um, fatty acid uh, can cause inflammatory state in the body and cause chronic fatty um, chronic fatigue syndrome now let's say about treatment first and important method of treatment is gradual exercise it's very crucial physical activity but um, increase level of exercise should be gradual because um, if person starts exercise intensively it, it can worse situation and cognitive behavioral therapy is very important you should find malfunction ideas and replace them healthy ideas for example if person says that i will never get pet better then you should find this idea you should find this salt and you should replace with i'm working on my fatigue and small steps make a difference in time you should think positively it's very important and if person has sleep deprivation then antidepressants are commonly prescribed such as amitriptyline it's uh, antidepressant uh, tricyclic antidepressants and sometimes antihistamines also used as a sedatives especially uh, <coughs> especially uh, early type of antihistamines and melatonin 
is hormone which is produced in our body and it manages our circadian rhythm and have melatonin also improves sleep quality uh, and melatonin as a supplement and valeria root also helps uh, for sleep as a supplement and if person has depression then antidepressants are used such as fluoxetine for example prozac and sertraline zoloft are used but their action requires time because they are prescribed from weeks to months and you, you should wait for weeks to see their effect and when you stop antidepressant typer off gradually is important you should reduce those uh, dosage of antidepressant gradually it's very important and sometimes stimulants are used but uh, stimulant usually uh, you uh, usage is controversial why controversial because they cause uh, they cause dependency and tolerance and it's problem because patient can become dependent on the stimulant and modafinil is not classical stimulant but uh, it can be used sometimes uh, but uh, it, it should not be used every day daily because of tolerance risk it's important and methylphenidate it's classical stimulant and it can be used sometimes also but it's controversial issue and vitamin b complex is essential for supplement because they important for energy production and nervous system function vitamin d supplementation also important magnesium important because it improves sleep improves uh, stress and anxiety and improves fatigue in many cases omega-3 fatty acids also important supplement because it reduces inflammation it can uh, improve cognitive function also and prebiotics improves uh, immune system function especially lactobacillus is important important and coenzyme q10 and l-carnitine are important for energy production and they they use as supplements but they have less studies compared to above mentioned so most su study supplements here are vitamin b complex vitamin d magnesium omega-3 fatty acids and pro uh, probiotics and less studies are coenzyme q10 uh, and l-carnitine deribose ashwagandha and uh, gisenj uh, so they uh, they are less studied uh, but there is potential that they can improve uh, chronic fatigue in some cases also thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now